the drawbar that came out of it is too small. These are M12, I believe. So uh, the one that came out is M10. So we ain't got a drawbar, so I'm going to make one. That's next on the agenda. I'm going to knock one up out of a nice bit of EN8. So it'll be uh, tough enough to last, soft enough to get. So we face that off and we're just giving it a good centre drill there. Um, we need a centre drill because we're going to have to support this drawbar with quite a bit of length poking out once we get to machining the, the size. We're just taking the end down here to take the M12 thread. And there we are just, just putting a little relief in at the end where the thready section is going um, to start. It's difficult to record and do it at the same time but just gently bring the clutch in like that. Let it feel nice and gentler. Then we move the carriage along to keep it supported and go a little bit more all the way to the end of that thready section. And now we're just winding the tap back off by hand. Um, makes a nice job. I didn't want a single point thread. Just a short little bit of M12. The, the pitch means I can't disengage the off nut when I'm doing it. And it's a bit of a pain. Got to get your timing spot on. So it's easier to just run a die down. Now I'm checking the, uh, the R32 collet holder. And it goes on there nicely. Now you can see supporting the length of the drawbar while we machine this down to size. And we're just doing a very light cut to finish off. And um, the size is not critical, but it's nice to have a nice finish. And there we are, just giving it a once over with some emery. <laughs> so with that done, we can turn the very end down, the top of the drawbar down to size before we cut it off and clean it up. So there we're just finishing the That's end. one side done. Facing that off. Um, I'll put a little bit of a shampoo sure the file on before done. we go over to the mini mill. And we have one machine, up, so a couple of shot. flats on each side. They're all taken down to 19 millimetres for a nice yeah, fitting so on the spanner. And I mask the camera with my hand, but you squeeze it tight, basically, and look along the length. And you can just eyeball it on the bottom of the vise. That's good enough for a bowl. And that's the second side done. Used a bit of oil on the finishing cut. But we'll get that cleaned up and over to the big mill. So, got one draw bar, one collet chuck, or a collet holder. And drop in there, and tighten down. And the spanner in there with my gammy hand. So, 19 mil spanner. Couple of turns, and we're in. Sorted. And because it's made of E and A, it'll be all right to knock the collet holders out, the tools out. Sorry. So, so we can change without too much faff. Yeah. There we go. And that should hold that 
rather nicely. Sorted. Now we can see if it cuts metal. So, we've touched off, we've lifted the knee because the quill's fixed. Um, we've touched off and we're going for half a mil. 20 thou cut. 12 millimeter high speed steel bit. We're running just over 500 RPM. Should be happy days. Let's see what happens. Off we go. Making chips. Certainly do with the faster speed at feed rate, but first thoughts, first thought. Here we go. So I think we're safe to uh, go up. Let's take it up a millimetre. So now we're doing 40 thou cut. Instead, on the feed, a little bit of vibration, but to be expected. Nothing at all wrong with that.